Hi teachers, so this tutorial is going to show you some different options for how to share things with your teammates um, so that you're not overwhelmed by a giant mess in your Google Drive. So when you're sharing things with your teammates, it's awesome to collaborate, um, especially during this time, and share the resources. But if you're making copies for each individual person and you have six or seven, or sometimes I find people can have up to 20 different copies of something in their drive, you can get a little overwhelmed on what to keep and what to get rid of. So the first way I wanna talk about is an easy way to share with your coworkers where you don't have to create another copy. Um, it's actually your coworkers that would create the copy. So when you come up to share, you would actually do this on your original document. So to share, you would share it with whoever you wanted. I'm just gonna put in something random here. Oops, no. Uh, okay, so I'm going to share it with another account, but I'm going to make it as can view. So I'm only going to give them viewing access. So the reason why I like doing this is because someone can open the document, they can see what's in the document, and then if they like that document, then they have the option to simply click on file and select make a copy. And then at that point, they can make a copy, name that copy whatever they want, they can put it in whatever folder that they feel like they need to put it in and click OK. And so then that copy officially becomes theirs and you're not left with more copies in your drive. So that's way number one. Suggestion number two actually comes from um, some different Google experts have figured out how to hack the URL of a Google Doc. This works with Google Slides, Google Sheets, Google Drawings. And this is a great way to actually force the copy to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our, oh, and by the way, this is um, Shake Up Learning. It's from Casey Bell. It's called Force Users to Make a Copy of a Google Doc. So she walked completely through this. So I'm going to go up to Share, and I'm going to select Get Shareable Link. And I actually want to make sure I'm going to turn on my link at the on anyone with the link and I'm going to leave it on can view I'm going to hit save so I'm going to take and copy this link but I'm going to change one little thing at the end of the link so we're going to click up here copy the link paste it but then to the end of the link, I'm going to add the word, I'm gonna backspace out all that at the end and add copy instead of edit. So now you'll notice that it takes you to a screen where it automatically forces you to make a copy. If I click make a copy here, it will then force that copy to be made. So all I would share with my coworkers would be this unique link. So I wanna show that again so that you understand what to take off of the link. So we're going to get the anyone with the link, we're going to copy this link, and then I'm actually just going to paste this link down further in this Google Doc so you can see it. I'm going to take off the whole end of this link. So everything from edit to the end. I'm going to get rid of that and then replace it with the word copy. So now when I take this link and I can share this link in an email, I can share this link on a web page, I can share this link um, to my teachers through whatever way that we share, it's automatically going to take them to a screen where they simply click make a copy and it forces them to make a copy. It's the same thing as clicking file, make a copy without them having to go through that step. So the last way um, that I wanna share that you can easily share things in between your teammates is actually through Google Classroom. So to do this, the first thing you'd want to do is set up a Google Classroom between you and your fellow co-teachers that you can share. So I'm going to create a new classroom and I'm going to call this teacher's class. Got 
had a lot going on <laughs> in my Google Classroom. So in this teacher's class, the first thing I'd want to do is then invite whatever other teachers need to be invited. So I've invited my other teachers. And now what I want to do is I want to create an assignment because we're sharing these assignments. So I'm going to create a test assignment. I'm going to select add. I'm going to add all of my templates, exactly what I would do for my students. So that's important to know. I'm not doing anything different than what I'd set up for my students. I can add my rubric right now if I use a rubric. So the more complete you have this, the more complete it will be for your coworkers. So then you simply click assign. Now it's important to know I don't have any students in this class. So what I'm going to do now as a teacher who wants to use this assignment. So I've created this assignment and now another teacher wants to use this assignment. That other teacher is going to go into their Google Classroom and they are going to click on Classwork and they're going to select to reuse a post. And they're going to go back and they're going to locate that other classroom. So what I did is when you first click on reuse post it opens up in your current classroom i'm going to go back out of that and find that collaborative classroom i share with teachers oh here's that post notice at the very bottom there's a place where you can check create new copies of all attachments so this will automatically force the creation of all of those new attachments. The other nice thing is that means not everyone would have to go through and set up the assignments themselves. The directions would already be there, the documents would already be there, links would be there, due dates would be there, topic, etc. So at this point, the teacher who wants this to be added to their classroom this is going to be a new copy for them. They can edit or tweak any directions, check students if they want to check students, set a new due date, and then click assign for themselves. And now that assignment is in their classroom with their copies of the attachment. So officially that actually took and made the copies as well. So those are three easy ways. Obviously there are other ways people have come up with in terms of sharing things in between each other. But those ways can help you avoid some of the clutter and mess in your own Google Drive.